What's up, Comics Versers? You're here at C2E2 with Mark Hassenfrotz. Joining me today is Ramon Perez, fantastic artist for titles such as Hawkeye and Spider-Man. How's your con going so far? Very well, thank you very much. Well, great to see you here. Thanks so much for taking the time to sit down with us. Oh, my pleasure. Great. Um, so your creator-owned project, Cuckoo Burry, updates two pages a week. And how does that compare to working on a, uh, a weekly or a monthly uh, comic book? Well, first of all, yeah, updates two, two times a week back to 2011. It hasn't updated since then. But uh, in theory, uh, when you're creating a, a sequential storyline, whether it be on a monthly basis or a weekly basis or a daily basis, you're always working towards the page turn where you're wanting to hook your audience to come back and read the next page. So with a webcomic where you're updating more on a weekly basis, you're going to have to do that a little bit more effectively because they're essentially leaving your webcomic for a week, five days, however long it is between your updates, and you have to want them to come back. So they have to be quite excited to come back after that, that page turn. Whereas with a comic book, you have a little bit more leeway. People are buying the book. You know they're essentially going to turn the page and uh, see what's coming up next in the story. So you're still working with the page turn, but you're, you have a little bit more freedom. With It doesn't have to be a big cliffhanger every time, so to speak. Cool. Interesting. So, um, who's your favorite character to draw and why? Favorite character to draw and why? I would say I, I love a lot of the Kirby uh, characters from the fourth world, like Mr. Miracle, Big Barda. Uh, their, their costumes were so colorful, energetic. The characters are interesting. Uh, and you can just do a lot with them. You can make them into darker scenarios, fun, lighthearted scenarios. So, yeah, a lot of old Kirby creations are my, my go to. So, um, you've described yourself as a cartoonist in the past, as opposed to a comics artist. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think the difference between those two titles is, and um, which one do you prefer and why? Uh, I prefer a, a cartoonist myself, and I believe a cartoonist, in my interpretation, is someone who writes and draws their own material. Uh, whereas a comics illustrator, or just an illustrator, is taking something given to them, whether it be a script, or a synopsis, or whatever it might be, and they're taking that and illustrating it. They are still like adjusting and playing with it, but it's not their story originally. They've, they've taken somebody else's work and are adapting it into a sequential form. Excellent, excellent. So uh, there's a lot of technology being introduced into the industry lately, and lots of artists are working digitally. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer working the old-fashioned way or working uh, with this new technology di digitally? I mean, I work both ways. I, I'm a big fan and advocate of working traditionally because uh, you just have such a, a wide variety of uh, things you can do. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's uh, the the means justifies the end, or what the saying is, it's... it's the look I want at the end is what I'm going to use to get there. So whether I want a clean line, I can do that with a traditional brush, or I can do it with uh, a digital tool that emulates the brush or a quill or whatever it might be. And I think digital tools have come quite far and uh, are, are great at uh, mimicking and creating their own lines. I mean, I do uh, Hawkeye half digitally, half traditionally, and uh, no one can tell the difference. So, cool. you know. Uh, anything new and exciting you want to tell the viewers at home? Uh, well, I just wrapped up Hawkeye, so I'm, I'm off Hawkeye right now and taking a little bit of a break and working with Arkea, uh, working on a modern-day adaptation of Jane Eyre with, uh, set in New York with Aline Brosh McKenna, screenwriter of uh, The Devil Wears Prada and numerous other things. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's a nice gothic romance, something different than uh, Two Archers. And uh, then when I come back to Marvel in the fall, I'll be launching something after Civil War II, and what that might be is... Uh, kind of up in the air right now but hopefully something exciting which no doubt and uh, we'll have some fun cool cool yeah. alright unfortunately that's all the time we have for today so just thank, thank you again for your time oh my pleasure man. and if you like this video be sure to like comment share and subscribe to it you can also check us out at comicsverse.com for more in-depth comics analysis and theory until next time I'm Mark Hassan he's Ramon Perez have a good one cheers